three primary settings on the Nikon D60 that affect exposure. Shutter speed, the aperture of the lens, and ISO. Let's take a closer look at ISO because it's the one many people forget about. ISO is a measurement of how sensitive the camera is to light. The higher the number, the better the camera will be for shooting in low light. Each time the ISO number is doubled, the sensitivity of the camera is doubled as well. But that comes at a price, because the picture quality won't be as good. When you use a higher ISO, you are electronically amplifying the signal that is being generated by the image sensor. And the more the signal is amplified, the lower the picture quality will be. To get the very best picture quality, you should keep your ISO set as low as you can. And rarely, if ever, should you set the camera to automatic ISO control. ISO is simply too important to ever let the camera choose it automatically for you. ISO can be set on the D60 by turning on the shooting information display, pressing the I button, navigating to the ISO setting, and pressing the OK button. Now any of the ISO values can be selected. The D60 has a wide range of standard ISO settings, from 100 up to 1600 and even beyond that. High 1 is the equivalent of ISO 3200. Press the OK button to make your selection and you're ready to shoot. In some exposure modes, you may also see Auto as one of the available choices, but I don't recommend selecting that option. ISO is an important setting that you should always set yourself manually. ISO 100 should be your normal setting, and you should only raise it higher when it's absolutely necessary. For more great digital photography tips, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com/digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.